Hey everybody, this is Alex with Care Conscious, and today we are talking with Dr. Ann Glass of the Institute of Gerontology at UGA. She is the nation's leading expert on elder co-housing. We're going to be talking about residential options for elders that most people don't know about, don't think of, that don't come to the top of mind. We usually think about uh, nursing homes, assisted living facilities, even aging in place. But we're going to be talking about some really cool alternatives to those that might make sense for your loved one. So let's dive into the general landscape. Uh, what are the array of options that are kind of outside nursing homes, assisted living facilities that we're not thinking about? Well, one kind of new option actually is a, a sort of a nursing home, and that's called the greenhouse. That's probably something most people haven't heard about. And that was developed by a physician, Bill Thomas, who was a medical director in a nursing home. And uh, the greenhouse itself, the idea, instead of a long haul like most nursing yeah. homes are, it's a small, like a, more like a home. And you might have just 10 residents. They each have their own room. And okay. then they come out to the central space, which has a kitchen and a dining room and a living room. It's much more like a, a home-like situation. Mm -hmm. And they have staff who are consistently assigned to that greenhouse. And it's been shown in the evaluation so far to be very satisfying for both the residents and their families and Sounds the employees. Like yeah. Well, what are some other general options that we're not thinking, not, don't come top of mind? Well, uh, you mentioned the elder co-housing, and that's something I have been doing a lot of research on. That's really quite a new option that's just arisen in the last few years. Um, there's only about four communities right now in the United States. Wow. It's, it's very common in some other countries like Denmark, but it's a, a new idea here. And what's interesting about that is it's older people coming together and creating their own community. And they use often this model from Denmark that is designed around a common space and is designed to build a sense of community among the residents. Right. And what I've seen so far, like at Elder Spirit Community, is one of the ones that I've been working with. And they really have developed uh, a mutual support. So they're looking out for each other, not just when somebody goes in the hospital or needs help when they come home, but just kind of keeping an eye out for each other and right. find it very supportive environment. So I think it's very exciting because they're in the future, especially there's not going to be enough of the middle-aged caregivers out there to take care of all the older people. So I'm very interested in seeing how older people might be able to help take care of each other because we don't all have family, you know. We, we assume everybody's got family to take care of them, but not everybody does. And the baby boomers especially are going to be less likely to have had children than the, the older people that we have now. Right. So it's a kind of uh, for the people, by the people kind <laughs> of approach. Right. Really cool. Really yeah, cool. and it's managed by the residents too instead of having an administrator, you know, telling right. them what to do. So it is kind of novel in, in our thinking. And the one you mentioned was Elder Spirit? Elder Spirit That's Community in, in Virginia. In Virginia. Mm -hmm. Okay. Check them out. Uh, what uh, are there any other options we're not thinking about real quick? Well, I think um, something else people may not have heard of is what we call a naturally occurring retirement community okay. or a NORC, N -O -R -C. A NORC, and that is where people have just aged in place and it, and it becomes a neighborhood where there's a high percentage of older people. And okay. we really don't know how many neighborhoods there are like that in the country. But some neighborhoods have been identified and there have been some programs set up to provide services to people because they are living in an elder-rich area, right. you might say. Right. But I think overall in the future we're going to see a lot of different variations of shared housing. Um, you know, people say, I just want to have a way to get together with my friends and, you know, we can look out for each other. And so I think we're going to see lots of different models coming right. in, into the future. So it's about being proactive being creative and you know not being afraid to push out and think forge, outside the box forge your own community and, and and really make aging something that's enjoyable meaningful and sustainable uh, and uh, caregivers we should know these options are out here and for more information check out the resources below and uh, go to careconscious.com also dr glass's site eldercohousing.net a uh, great resource uh, to check out these new these new options so thank you and thank you thank you Thank <laughs> you.